Hi everybody, it's me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by for the video. Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to Lilybug Lane. It is Saturday at the sink. It is August the 17th, 2024, and we are going to work it out, friends. We certainly, certainly are. Grab your supplies, make sure you use the restroom, run your garbage disposal, and work it out with me here at the sink. This is therapy, <laughs> and it is free. And I will continue to repeatedly say this because it is the truth. It is the truth. Better help doesn't make you better. Look into it, friends, look into it. We are in the 11 o'clock hour right at 11.30 a.m. We certainly are. It is a nice day here. I wouldn't say it's a fabulous, spectacular day here at Lilybug Lane. We have sun, we have a little bit of clouds, we have nice temperatures, we have a little bit of a breeze. So here we go, friends. Are we ready? We're ready. I'm gonna recommend something to you. It is so important that you watch this podcast on YouTube on the Tucker Carlson channel on YouTube. He interviews Callie and Casey Means. They are a brother and sister. One of them is a Stanford trained doctor. The other one is a Harvard trained lawyer. And they have a lot to say about the pharmaceutical industry and about chronic illness, about our nutrition and how shitty it is, I encourage you to go watch it. Take notes with a red pen if you need to. It is a commitment, but I highly, highly encourage you to go watch it. And I will be, I will be passing it on to people that I know. Okay? There we go. There we go. If you did not see the full moon or well not the full it's not full yet right but if you did not see the moon last night you missed out this is a blue moon and a super moon friends and it is going to be spectacular so i encourage you this evening if it is clear in your area to get outside in nature <laughs> And look up at the full moon, or look up at the moon as, as it is becoming full. It will be full on Monday. So, and this is going to be, it's just spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. So, today we are using, I'm very chatty today, aren't I? I certainly am. Grab yourself a beverage, get your supplies together. We are going to do this, friends. We certainly are. We are using soft scrub. Why? Let's all say it together. Because we love the bleach. We certainly, certainly do. We are also going to use, again, the Dawn Power Wash in the lemon scent. Okay? So just so we can get through this and I can get it from underneath the sink here at Lilybug Lane. It is starting to irritate me. And, of course, we will have lemon time. We certainly will. And I'm back on the right routine where I end up with a half a lemon for our time at the sink. Right? There we go. There we go, friends. <laughs> so, it has been a busy day here today already at Lily Bug Lane. I have done my five miles on the treadmill. So, that was good. I felt a little bit, of, a little bit of a hitch. A little bit of a hitch in my left hip as I was finishing up the five miles. So I'm not exactly sure what that might mean, <laughs> right? But I felt a little bit of a hitch and uh, it may have been my workout before I got on the treadmill. I'm not real sure. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that to see if it gets any worse and you know, pay attention to what I'm doing as I'm moving about my day today. But I did get on the treadmill early. Louise's sheets are changed. They certainly are. So she's gonna have nice cozy sleep tonight. 
She is. And I am doing the laundry. I'm doing the laundry here at Lily Bug Lane. That's one of the weekend things, right? I'm, wa I'm washing all of those fabulous things I got at the Goodwill. Goodwills yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, that dress. That dress was just too much, wasn't it? It certainly, certainly was. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. I certainly do. Um, please feel free to leave a comment down below, friends. Down below. They are only words, friends. Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. I do not moderate the comments here at Lilybug Lane unless you are a complete mental case. Not sorry. <laughs> not one bit sorry. So, here we go. I meant... Yes, yesterday when we did our live Goodwill haul, which that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? It's easiest to do it like that. It is. It's easy because it just uploads as we are live. And I don't have to, um, you know, spend the time uploading it afterward, you know, afterwards. So it's easiest just to do it like that. And I like it because it's in real time and we get to chat with each other. So... I mentioned that I had found out why my local Goodwill was um, changing their hours. I asked one of the workers there yesterday. And because remember, I told you that they were going to be open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, wait. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and close Sunday and Monday. And then the days that they're open, they're only open 10 to 6, right? And um, I couldn't figure out why they, you know, why they were changing hours other than they were probably going to change locations. Well, I asked. I certainly did. And guess what the worker told me? They're having employment issues because nobody wants to work. <laughs> nobody wants to work. So they are cutting their store hours so that the employees that want to work don't get overworked. Imagine that. So that's why they're cutting their store hours. So there we go, friends. There we go. People do not want to work. And it's like that all over the place. It certainly is. And we certainly appreciate the people that want to be responsible adults, right? And contributing adults to our societies and want to hold a job. So that's why the hours at My Goodwill have changed. And hopefully that will change. Think hard, friends. Think really hard. <laughs> Think really hard. Then when we were at Pizza Hut last night, one of uh, the uh, our, our server, Marlena, informed us that it is going to be policy at Pizza Hut that the servers share their tips with the kitchen. Well, I said that was a bunch of bullshit. And she agreed. And I said that that's socialism, and she agreed. So if you are out dining, do not put a tip on your credit card or your debit card. Give cash. Give cash to the servers. Because if they receive tips on cards, credit cards or debit cards, they, the tips have to be divided equally by all the employees in the restaurant. Okay? So there you go, friends. Welcome to Socialism at Pizza Hut. Look at this mat. We love it. We certainly do. And I washed all of the extra little dishes and uh, holders and all that kind of stuff. So, so I wanted to tell you about those two things. And um, we never, we never put tips on a card. We never do. 
Um, we always give cash. And we always make sure that they don't have a tip jar in the back that, you know, everybody has to put their tips in and then it's divided at night. We always make sure about that because, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm not tipping a waitress that is not uh, serving me, right? I'm not doing that. So, anyway... Rinse, 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 rinse. Ooh, it's hot water. Oops, a little too hot for me. I like hot water, but I don't like it that hot. Ooh. So, the kid, most, most children, most children by Monday, this Monday will be starting school. I think this is the, this Monday is the day when a lot of school systems are going to start in a lot of areas. So we certainly, certainly hope that the children have wonderful school years, that they learn, they learn what they should be learning, which is reading, writing, and arithmetic, right? Right. And that they are happy and look forward to going to school every day. We will be seeing the yellow school buses, <laughs> right? Can I tell you, I remember when I was in school, the first day of school, you would get on the bus and the bus driver would have index cards above each of the seats on the school bus and you had to look for your name. Because guess what? Back then, you had assigned seating. You certainly did. You had assigned seating on the bus. Bus drivers were allowed to do that. They certainly were. <laughs> so that was always that was always nerve wracking, right? To get on the bus and to have to be looking for your name. So now I have to I have to confess something. I debated on whether or not to put. Jolly Boy in the carrier while I was doing this, and I did. I debated against it. I decided not to do it, right? Because he has to learn. He has to learn, <clears throat> learn to behave. Okay. <clears throat> he is now right at my feet. <laughs> so I'll tell you. You can tell that it's going to be a full moon here in a couple days because these boys. Not just Jolly Boy, all the boys are just being crazies, crazies. So, but that's okay. <clears throat> We're all a little bit crazy, aren't we? Some of us more than others. <laughs> Some of us more than others. So, what shall we discuss? What shall, <clears throat> what shall we work through? Shall we work through the Matthew Perry bullshit? Shall we work through the Secret Service agent abandoning her post to breastfeed her infant at the rally in North Carolina? No girls allowed. No girls allowed. Not one bit sorry. Not one bit sorry. It's admirable, it's admirable that the Secret Service agent, the mommy Secret Service agent, right, made it plainly clear where her priorities lie while she is being paid by the American taxpayers. And it certainly isn't with her job, right? Right. No girls allowed. And for you feminists out there, go ahead, leave the comments. Leave the comments. I understand you're angry and you're bitter and you're, you hate men. I understand it. I understand it. The worst lie ever told to women or sold to women 
was feminism. You were not going to make me believe any differently. Time for the dawn! Aren't you having fun, friends? <laughs> you are having fun, aren't you? Here we go. I hear a chainsaw or something out in the, uh, out in, oh my God, I'm getting very nervous. <laughs> um, I hear a chainsaw mm -hmm. out in the neighborhood. So I don't know what's going on with that. Unless somebody's trimming a tree up or something, you know. I know that there's some bad weather. Um, there's a Ernesto. Is that a hurricane yet or is that still a tropical storm? That is brewing, right? That is brewing. So remember, remember, if you are in the projected path of any storms or hurricanes, right? If you are in the projected path, you have plenty of time. You have plenty of time. So start getting prepared, right? There is, if you are prepared, if you are prepared, right? There is no need to panic. You just need to be ready. So, and oh, and I wanted to say this too, because we talk a lot about animals and being prepared with your animals. I have seen quite a few collapsible kennels in different sizes at the Goodwills. And I have seen a couple of collapsible kennels in the clearance sections at the Walmart. So if you do not have a collapsible kennel, which I would consider to be like a traveling kennel, right? You might want to think about getting one of those because if you had to evacuate in a storm, that would be what you would want to use, right? That would be what you would want to use. So, and just keep in mind too, that not all shelters accept animals and they don't have to. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are fully informed before you show up at a shelter or before you evacuate where you're heading, right, if you have animals. Your animals are your responsibility, yours, not anybody else's. And the shelters are, you know, they're... They're tasked with sheltering humans, so they, the humans are going to have the first priority. So just keep that in mind, too. But we do want to take care of our animals. We want to be responsible animal owners. So, but yeah, so this uh, Secret Service agent <laughs> abandoned her post without telling anyone without telling anyone, and uh, had her family members there also, which is not allowed, not allowed, and uh, breastfed her baby. So, which, in my opinion, is not only a security risk for the primary that you are protecting or that you are tasked with protecting it is also a security risk for the infant and anybody else that's there right I mean who in God's name would bring an infant to a to a political rally who would do that right who would do that so, so it just continues to show the incompetence that our tax dollars are funding, <laughs> right? Because, you know, the Secret Service is the elite, right? They're elite. Yeah, they're elite, okay. No girls. And I don't think from a health perspective, in my opinion, I don't think from a health perspective that that is a very good thing for a nursing mother to be doing. Because you have to wear a bulletproof vest, right? Which compresses the breasts down, 
which can suppress milk production in nursing mothers. So explain that to me. Explain that to me. Oh, and you're going to love this too. You're going to love this too. Come to find out, come to find out the Secret Service agent, the girl who couldn't holster her weapon at the J13 rally here in Butler, Pennsylvania, right? The one who was hiding behind President Trump as bullets were flying above his head. She was the senior field agent in charge of everything. What do you think about that? She was the one in charge. Surprise! Right? Surprise! Now, I'm going to tell you this. I'm a woman, okay? A real woman. But here's my, here's my thoughts. Leave it to a woman to screw it up. Right? Leave it to a woman to screw it up. Not sorry. Not sorry. Know your strengths. Know your weaknesses. Right? Know your strengths and know your weaknesses. I'm not one bit sorry. I am not a feminist. You all know that. And, you know, I believe in supporting girls and I believe in supporting women. But let me tell you something. From what I see today, that is not, not true. Not one bit true. Now, for some reason, I have a lot of bubbles here in this side of the sink. I'm not sure why, because I ran the, I ran the garbage disposal. So, plug your ears, because I'm going to do it again. Hold on. And they went right down when I did that. Wonder why they weren't going down. But look at all the bubbles I have, right? All the bubbles. So, I think I'm using a little bit more paper towels than usual, Larry. I think I am. So, I'm going to color my hair tomorrow. I certainly am. I want to get everything done that needs to be done here today because it's supposed to be rainy and yucky tomorrow. So I wanna get everything done. That way, all I have to do tomorrow is color my hair. So that's my plan. Lemon time! Lemon, lemon, lemon. We all love lemon time. Lemon, lemon, lemon. We all love lemon time. Lemon, lemon, lemon. Oh my gosh, could you imagine, um, what was her name? The one that played Maria in The Sound of Music. Oh, I can't think of her name. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be fabulous to hear her sing a Lemon Time song? Woo it would. She'd do a good job, wouldn't she? I can't think of her name. Linda will tell me her name down in the comment section. She will, she'll tell me her name. She will, but I'm not, I'm not one bit sorry. I do not think, and yes, it is a true story. It is an absolutely true story that a female Secret Service agent abandoned her post minutes before the president was to take the stage to breastfeed her infant child, okay? Minutes before, okay? Minutes before, and you take an oath, as an agent, you take an oath that you will not abandon your post, that your principle is your priority. Okay, so there we go. But I do not believe under any circumstances that women should be doing a job like that. No, no, no. Just like I believe women should not be in combat. No, 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 no. 
Not sorry. We are, we can be support. We can offer the support behind the lines and things like that, but we don't need to be out, you know, killing and maiming and doing things that women have no business doing. And I'm not one bit sorry, not one bit. I want to get my na I want to get my hair colored so I can put my nails back on. <laughs> Certainly do. There we go. There we go. It smells so wonderful. Oh, listen. One of our circle friends sent me a picture of a lemon that she cut into and that rind on the lemon that she got was so Thick. I bet it was 90% rind and 10% um, lemon. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. <sighs> but I do love when you guys send me pictures of things that we talk about, you know. I love it because that makes me, that makes me realize that, you know, I'm not as crazy as I sound. I am not as crazy as I sound. So, I do encourage you, though, to sit down with a cup of tea, some cucumber water, some lemon water, um, not Gatorade, <laughs> not Gatorade, not fruit punch, not sugary juice. Sit down with a nice cup of tea, a nice cup of coffee, right? You can do coffee, water, lemon water, cucumber water, and a, and a piece of paper and a red pen and listen to that Tucker Carlson podcast with uh, Callie and Casey Means. It was just uploaded yesterday. And take notes if you need to, friends. And a lot of that stuff that they're saying will sound familiar because we've heard it before. But my dad always says, and this just infuriates me every time he says it, and other people say it too, but my dad says, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, right? Well, how, many, how, how lame does the horse have to be before it drinks the water, right? How lame? Not lame as in like dumb, dumb lame, but like how lame as in not feeling well, right? I've, I've kind of come to a conclusion that people don't want to feel good. They don't. They don't. Because the more you have wrong with you, the more social clout and the more social attention you get. Right? It's like a badge. It's like a badge of honor. Right? You get sympathy. You get empathy. You get attention. I really don't think people want to feel better. I don't. I don't. You're, you'll be hard pressed to um, convince me otherwise. I've I've seen it too too much, too too much. But I do encourage you to go watch that because that um, podcast because it is unbelievable, and it's all stuff that I mean. Just look back in the way way back machine, friends, and you you see it. It it they didn't keep it secret. We just refused to see it. Although there was the crazy man standing at the corner, on the corner of the street, telling us all, right, with the tinfoil on his head, because he said he was receiving transmissions from outer space. Oh. Those were the days, my friend. We thought they'd never end, and they have, and look where we are now. Everyone is so sick. And lifetime pharmaceutical patients. Yep. Oh, my, my. 
The sunflowers are wonderful to look out, out the window, look at out the window. They certainly are. I don't think Chewy and Louise will be home for dinner. They went down into the city today to do a couple of things, do a couple of fun things. That's not my jam. That's not my jam to go down into the city. So I stayed home to keep an eye on the jolly boy. He's doing great. No, no uh, residuals from his shot. So I'm so glad we did the private vaccine. So I, um, when we were at the Goodwill, I did see two dish strainers. One of them had the caddy built in to the strainer. You couldn't take the caddy out of the strainer. So, and it was small. It was a pretty small one. So that was a big fat no. <laughs> that was a big fat no. And then the other one was, was like a stainless steel and it did not have a caddy. Did not have a um, utensil caddy on it. So I didn't get that one either. So I'm still looking. I would, I would do black. I would do white. I would do red. So that's what I'm looking for as I'm out and about within the uh, Goodwills. And it's just to have a backup. Just to have a backup. And we have plenty of space downstairs. So, there we go, friends. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, dang, that's crooked. <sighs> that's crooked. Some of you know how that's going to bother me, right? This was a very pulpy lemon. I don't know if you can see, but I'm trying to get all the pulp off of the sink, right? That's some crazy. That is some crazy. Okay, so all the boys disappeared. Oh, Jolly Boy's on the chair, the kitchen chair. He made me so nervous when he came over to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? See the pulp right here? It's like you can see it all over. There is the paper towel that Chewy loves to have, right? Right. Here is the paper towels, and you can see all the bubbles. See all the bubbles? I know, right? I know. So there we go, friends. We have worked it out at the sink. Well, at least I have, because let me tell you something. I've got things to say. I certainly do. I got more to say about that damn Secret Service agent. I got, I got plenty to say about Matthew Perry. I certainly do. <laughs> I got things to say about everything. But guess what? We live in America. We live in America, and we have the First Amendment. We certainly do. Look at that sink. <whistles> Look at that shine right there. Look at the shine right there. Right there. Right there. Love it. Love it. All right, friends. There we go. Another Saturday at the sink in the books. Right? I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. I certainly do. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. I certainly do. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. They are only words, friends. They certainly are. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel a sneeze coming on. Are we ready, friends? We are ready because I'm almost five minutes over. I hope you are happy. I hope you are happy. I hope you are healthy. Take your zinc every day. It is up to us. Please watch the podcast with Callie and Casey Means on the Tucker Carlson YouTube channel. I hope you are safe. I certainly, certainly do. Keep an eye on the weather in your area so you are prepared, not panicked, and not scared. Thanks for spending this time with me. I think of you all often. You are never far in my thoughts, and we will see each other again very, very soon.